I started wood tuning when I was 18 years old. I um, pursued using material that I had on the farm, you know, stumps that we used to dig up when I ploughed the ground. I used to come home from work and um, Sue would say, well, look, you know, at least spend an hour out in the tuning workshop. It wasn't until the early 90s that I did a couple of workshops. I opened my eyes to the fact that wood tuning would be used as a foundation for art pieces. Initially, I started to look for things on the land and obviously wind, rain and fire were elements that were always in the back of my mind. A fire I always liked because of its fluidity. It was never constant, it was something that was always changing. And it was about how I could capture that idea and translate that onto a, a turned form. But moving to Bunbury and we're having access to a beach, there are things that are discarded on the on the beach that are great sources of inspirations. So there were some small uh, pieces of different coral there and um, that really captured my imagination. I always like to treat the material with great respect because essentially some of the material that I use would be over 100, 150 years old. It commands a lot of thought and uh, a lot of respect. I always try to make sure that what I do to the piece is worthy of the material that I'm using. I suppose most of my art pieces are about my voice and I still don't think I've really captured the, the very essence of what I'm trying to say. So, you know, I think it's a, a work in progress. You never quite get there, I don't think. If you do, then that's when I'd walk away and say, I can't do any more because you've made that perfect piece.